During the last ICML, I had the honor to conduct the session with the professor uh, discussing about what's new in peripheral T-cell lymphoma. It was uh, an interesting lecture uh, on a very uh, important topic because, as you may know, peripheral T-cell lymphoma are amongst the worst human uh, cancer in humans that we, that we know. Uh, and the complexity is at every level, from the diagnosis uh, uh, to the staging to the treatment option and to the management of uh, uh, R to treat patients. And uh, there, are, there is something that is new uh, that is probably making a brighter future for, for patients with peripheral T-cell lymphoma and for us physicians. And uh, the most important novelty come from the pathologic definition of these uh, difficult entities. Uh, we are now moving from a general assessment of PTCL and OS cases to a cell of origin approach to these cases uh, uh, with uh, some uh, subset of PTCL cases that are associated with a specific cell of origin, with the, the t follicular upper, uh, cell of origin and cell type being identified as the most frequent among the PTCL subtypes, uh, and mainly associated with angiomonoblastic T-cell lymphomas. There are several other uh, subtypes, some enriched uh, with GATA3 mutations uh, that are uh, considered as among the worst PTCL lymphomas uh, in terms of outcome. And then there are the anaplastic large cell lymphoma and the gamma delta and the NK T cell lymphomas. And uh, this approach is very important because uh, not only it allows to better identify and better diagnose the patient, but because also it provides some insights and some help, help, uh, help to the definition of treatment targets uh, that are now becoming evident with data accumulating, uh, showing that uh, specific treatments among the new options that are available are mainly active in specific subtypes. Uh, so just to comment some of the data that now are now available, brentuximab betatine based therapies are probably uh, more active in the anaplastic large cell lymphomas, uh, uh, epigenetic modifiers, in, on the contrary, are probably better suited for uh, T follicular helper uh, lymphomas, including angiomonoblastic cell lymphoma. And also regarding the activity of lenalidomide, uh, PI3 kinase inhibitors, uh, and other novel agents that are being tested, uh, we should move towards a cell of origin specific approach. Uh, there are novel combinations that are emerging, uh, and that makes uh, even more complex the approach to this patient because we are moving from a rare disease into even rarer uh, group of patients. Uh, and so the urgent need in this case is not only to find new treatment for new uh, targets, but also to increase the cooperation. Because if, as we are facing with this rare disease, uh, cooperation is a must uh, in the approach of uh, this disease because we need uh, uh, cases and studies that are large enough to provide convincing uh, data. So we expect a brighter future for PTCL lymphoma patient uh, and. Uh, we are now living at the beginning of a new era of treatment. Thank you very much for your attention.